The door? What door? This, Th this door. <laughs> I, this, this was open more than what it was when I left. I had. I was reaching in my drawers. I didn't ask you. <laughs> Give me a kiss. I was trying, and then you went, hey, don't give me baby. Come here! <laughs> <laughs> On my lips! Oh. Hey friends, what's up? How are you doing? My name is Lindsay Wallace, for those of you who don't know, and for those of you who do, welcome back to my channel. So I want to start off by saying Happy New Year's Eve. Tomorrow is the first day of 2022. Oh man, I can't believe it, honestly. It's my 25 year, my 25th year on this planet. I turned 25 in February, you guys. I'm getting old. But I'm ready to go to the gym. Here is my gym fit for today. I'm wearing Gymshark. These are the camel leggings. I forgot like what these specific ones were called, but I know that they're the camel leggings from Gymshark. And then this shirt I got on Amazon and then I just cut it in the back too. But we're gonna head into the kitchen and make a protein shake so that I have some kind of sustenance before we actually head out to the gym and put in some work. Now we gotta go to the grocery store because I need to buy what I need to make soup. I'm making soup for New Year's. I do that every year. I got that tradition from my mom. What we do usually is we make like a beef soup. It's also just bringing health into the new year because it's a very hearty soup. There's a lot of vegetables and stuff in it, but it's a tasty soup. But yeah, that's what we have planned so far for today. But we're gonna go make that protein shake and get a move on. Okay, because the day is going by and it's the last day of 2021, okay? So we gotta get everything done. We don't have a lot of time. So Craig got me this protein shake shaker for Christmas and it's cool because this attachment you put on right here and then you press this button. Oh, I guess it doesn't wanna do it right now. Oh, there it goes. Look, you see, it starts to like spin for you. Isn't that so cool? Okay, let me turn it off. I don't completely know how to use it. I don't read directions, so I kind of just figure it out as I go along. Okay, cool. So today I'm using the Nutra One Protein Creations in the flavor Fruity Cereal Bites, Fruity Bite Cereal. It's not my favorite flavor. My favorite flavor is the S'mores one, but you know, it's fine. We'll finish this one and get more of the S'mores one eventually. A little bit of almond milk. Okay, this is my first time using this in everything. Yee. So we press the button. I think I'm gonna still shake it a little bit because look, you see how the powder's like stuck there? Maybe I was supposed to put milk and then powder. Give it a little help. Oh, that's so cool. It's a little blender. It turned off. It didn't even mix all the way. Oh, I was gonna put the empty thing back into the fridge, bro. I just got in trouble with Craig for that too. I put another thing back in the fridge that I had finished and I didn't realize it was done. Bendeja. <laughs> it did a decent job on the mixing. All right, friends, I got my bag packed and my shoes are on, and we're gonna start heading out to the gym, baby.
Hey friends, so I was sent this product by Slim Lift. It's a product that enhances all of your exercise results by increasing sweat, boosting calorie burn, and stimulate, stimulating your body with their cream. So this is what it looks like on the inside. I've been, ooh, I spilled some, oh dang it. I've been using it for two weeks now. The first week wasn't like consecutive, but the second week I've been, which is this week, I've been using it every day, well, except for yesterday. But I'll post my first picture here. Here is what I'm looking like now. There goes my little gut. I think my, my tummy's gone down some. And when you're using it, you really don't need a lot. Like a little bit goes a super long way. And this one is different than other products I've used that are similar to this one because this one, I actually feel like heat. It feels like I put a heating pad on my stomach. That just tells me that it works. But yeah, you guys, if you are interested in this product, I'll go ahead and leave the link below. They're also on Instagram if you wanted to, you know, check them out and follow them. But I like this cream, and I'm going to continue to use it, and I'll continue to give you guys updates. But yeah, let's go ahead and kill this leg day. <laughs> Today we're focusing mainly on hamstrings and glutes. I've switched up my weeks a little bit. You'll see whenever I post my spring week of workouts, but I've switched everything up just a little bit. Just really my leg day, but now on Mondays when I do my leg day it's focused on quads and glutes and then well that's Mondays and then Fridays is hamstrings and glutes so but yeah let's go warm up you guys
Okay, so I just finished my leg day. It was a killer hamstring and glutes day. Um, and I demolished my legs, bro. But I just took off my mask so I could take like pictures or whatever in the locker room. I'm the only one in here, by the way. Only one. But yeah, I took it off so I could take pictures. <laughs> I and it broke. It broke. So I'm gonna be holding it like this on my way out of the gym. It's awkward. But bro, look. Look at the pump. Anyway, guys, um, I'm going to take my little, you know, selfies or whatever for Instagram. And then we're gonna head out and go to the store real quick. But we're not going to Walmart because Christmas Eve, right? Whatever. Christmas Eve, I think, or... Maybe the day before. No, it was Christmas Eve. Was it? I don't know. Whatever. I went to Walmart at the last minute before Christmas. Basically, it's the point of the story. And when I tell you, I was in the store for three hours. Three hours. Okay. I mean, one of those hours was me looking for everything I needed. But two of those hours were me standing in fucking line. Or in freaking line, sorry. So we're not going to Walmart. We're going to go to, uh, what is it called? Stater Brothers. Um, also because I need a couple of vegetables for my soup that, like, I can't really find everywhere. But Stater Brothers usually has, like, everything. Everything. It's like a little Trader Joe's or something. I don't know. They have a lot of stuff, basically, is the point of the story. Um, yeah. Let me take my selfie so we can go. <laughs> yeah, have a great day. Hey friends, so we just made it to Stater Brothers and we're gonna go run in real quick so I can get what it is that I need. And then we're gonna head to the commissary so I can get the last of what I need and then we're just gonna head home and get started with the rest of our New Year's, babes. Hey friends, bro. Now I'm noticing how messed up my face looks. It's alright. I mean, it's not a big deal. They'll go away, you know. This is it, pimples happen. But um, I just got out the commissary and I got everything I needed except for the meat. <laughs> they didn't have any meat, and I need a chuck roast and I need beef bones. <sighs> anything bro nothing so i have to go back off base to go to a different grocery store so that i can find it and i'm not excited about that because i'm hungry and i'm tired of being outside the house i'm definitely a homebody and i've it, i haven't been i've been out the house since like 10 or something so but i got an applesauce because well i had it in my gym bag but um i was becoming hangry and when i it, hangry is not good for the vlog so i just you know i'm eating it and something until I get home and eat because I do have leftover salmon for lunch. Well, at this point, I don't even know. It's 3 o'clock. It's 3.30. By the time I get home, it's going to be like 4 something. And the food's not going to be late, ready till dumb late. But I mean, I guess we're going to be staying up all night, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm pimples humongous. Name him Fred, Steve, and Robert. Fred, Steve, and Robert. And little constellations on my face. Anyway, let's go to the store, you guys. I'm not taking you in, by the way. I'm not taking you guys into Stater Brothers again. Bye. So, I'm home now, but these ducks are just in my way. 
Excuse me, Mr. Duckies. Excuse me. And they're babies. Look, I think they're babies at least. This is a season where they all come. They're so pretty. They're going to my house now, probably to shit in my grass. Great. Well, just don't walk on my driveway because I still have to go there, friends. All right, friends, so I'm finally home uh, from being outside. Let me lift you up a little bit. I'm finally home from being outside the house, like basically all day. It's four o'clock now, and I left the house around 10 or so, but here's our haul. So first, I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Stater Brothers. I got some cran mango juice because I just like juice. And then I got the meat. Remember, I had to go back to the store for some meat. So I got the chuck roast. I got some beef marrow bones because I make the bone broth myself. I'm telling when I tell you I make the soup from scratch, look, I make it from nothing. Um, and then I got some like, cause that's really enough bones, but also I just like putting short ribs in my soup too. So I got some uh, short ribs and then, oh, the box got messed up. Um, well, this is for Craig. It's like one of his favorites. I don't know if it's his favorite, but it's one of his favorite beers. It's the Guinness, Guinness Drought Stout. I don't know, it's nasty to be honest, it's disgusting. It tastes like drinking black coffee. And then I got this. It's a bottle of wine that I've never tried. It's called Apothic Red and I hope it's good I like sweet wines or like they could I just want them to be sweet in some sense of the word You know like it doesn't have to be like sweet like it doesn't have to be Stella But you know like so it's easy to go down. I got some whole peeled tomatoes for the soup Everything I got today is for today for the soup. A chayote If you don't know what a chayote is then we're in the same boat me neither It's some kind of vegetable I guess my mom told me to get it for the soup, but that's chayote and then I got a big old yuca. I'll show you. I got a yuca. I'm gonna put this in the soup too. And then I got some chiles. And I got some um, caldo. What is it? Caldo con sabor de rex. Basically, it's like beef flavor, like like beef broth dust, I guess. But it it just adds, you know, what the soup needs. What it's lacking, that's it. And then I got some peppers because I wasn't sure how many peppers we had. And I need at least two for the soup. And I think that's all we have left, to be honest with you. Oh, this is from the commissary. Now I'm showing you stuff from the commissary. We're not there yet. I still think I have more, or is that everything? That's, it. oh. Now, what I got from the commissary, um, I got this, some bell peppers, which I just said. I got a shallot, I'll show it to you guys. I got some white mushrooms. Oh, an onion because we have a bag of onions, but I don't know. I just got one more, just one, just in case. And then I got a big old cabbage. I also got a sack of potatoes. We have a half a sack over there. I just wasn't sure if it'd be enough. Now that I'm looking at it, it was definitely, most definitely enough. Um, and I was going to also say you can never have too many potatoes, but you really can. <laughs> you can't have too many potatoes, especially when you're me and you get lazy and you don't always want to cook. But we're meal prepping this week, you guys. Hopefully on Sunday, we're gonna meal prep. So the potatoes will get used. I got two bushels of cilantro, three garlics, Three hands of garlic. I don't know what to call that. I got some carrots. I was going to get the baby carrots, so I didn't. I didn't have to peel it, but I figured for the video, I'll peel some carrots. I guess two things of sweet corn because I prefer sweet corn. And finally, I got some celery. This would have been the thing that I'm missing from my soup because celery gives the soup like a certain spice. I don't know celery. If you've had celery before, which I feel like most people have had celery before, but um, celery just has a very specific flavor that needs to be in this soup so but i do have to take a shower although before we take a shower like i said i make the soup from nothing and i gotta start making the bone broth so i'm gonna start getting that together right now babes This is my soup pot. I got it on Amazon. I like it a lot because it's so deep. <laughs> it's big and it's deep, but also it's like, look, it's fat. Like it's wider at the bottom. I don't know, it's a perfect soup pan pot, whatever. We're gonna start off with filling this up with some water.
I always miss the good moments. Craig said a funny joke, you guys, and you missed it because I wasn't recording. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so I got my big pot of water and I'll show you at the stove. But I filled it up about halfway. And you wanna fill it up about halfway because you're gonna put a bunch of stuff in there. And I would hate for you guys to make this soup and then fill up too much water. And now you got water everywhere. That's not what we want, babes. So yeah, there goes our water. It's about halfway. And we're gonna go ahead and turn on the oven. We're gonna it on high because I want it to start boiling. Why'd you stop touching my bowl? Alrighty y'all, we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning these beef bones. Oh, they're frozen! How inconvenient. It's okay, we're gonna boil them. Craig is making food, but I turned it off for a second because I realized that you probably don't want to hear that. But I'm pouring some vinegar into here, just a little bit. That's good. Vinegar helps with getting like a good clean for your meat, but now I'm just gonna kind of like toss it around, make sure everything's good, right, and then we're gonna put it in the pot. not going back and forth. I'm gonna salt the water first. Salting the water helps it boil. It also just adds flavor. And then I'm not gonna add any more salt to the soup until it's done um, when I'm checking it for flavor. Alrighty. We're just gonna leave it just like that and give it some time to actually come to a boil. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower. So I will catch up with you guys after that. Oh, it's getting foggy again. Oh well. Y'all are gonna have to deal with it. I'll open the door though, and that should help. <laughs> Trying my hardest not to show y'all anything, but also dry my face. I have a robe. Why am I not using it? I don't know. Well, I'm not using it because I have to do my hair in a little bit, and I just don't want it to like drag on the neck part of my robe so i didn't tell you guys but um you remember how i had to go out a second time off base uh so that what did i have to do oh yeah i had to go and buy the meat remember because the commissary was out of meat so sometimes when you come on base they do random inspections and they inspect your car but because of covid i didn't have to get out of the car anyway the point is is i got randomly stopped and it wasn't a bad situation i i got a, i had all my paperwork so that was fine the reason why i'm bringing it up is because i was so scared so basically i'm not gonna get into full detail but oh couple years ago like two or three years ago something like that i can't believe it's been that long already has it been two or three years it really has but anyway i had a bad altercation with the police and ever since then i've just been terrified of the police ah fuck no oh i broke it i dropped my toner and i broke the top <sighs> that's shitty anyway yeah so ever since then i've been like terrified of the police right but in the past couple months or so like building my confidence with you guys here on youtube and then also like exercising has also helped build my confidence and help me like work through some of that uh so i haven't been scared in the sense where like like literally i would go to the grocery store see a police officer and my heart would just start going um so i haven't had like anything like no kind of episode or anything in a couple months now i don't think since my brother has been here which was the summer in this situation even though it wasn't like a bad situation because i had all my paperwork i was fine i was good to go and base police are a lot at least to me nicer than like regular police <sighs> but i was still scared 
And like, I wasn't scared like, like I'm scared of you, but like my body reacted, you know? So like my hands started to tremble. And that's the thing too, I told people about this before and people will like kind of like to dismiss me and be like, everybody's scared of the police a little bit, you know? No, 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 my body reacts. Like my voice starts to shake. I can barely talk. My hands start to shake. And this time I didn't start crying, but usually I start crying and everything too, because I just get so overwhelmed with like, emotions I guess if you want to call it PTSD then call it that but anyway that happened and I'm proud of myself for not having the worst reaction you know but I gotta I gotta work through these body trembles these voice trembles I've never been scared <laughs> of the police before actually I have a lot of family members who are part of like the government in some kind of way so the point is, is I grew up you know being friendly and now I'm scared because of one incident I had with one bad cop so and that's really all it takes um because again a couple months ago when my brother was here I said the same thing I'm sorry I, and I do apologize I'm sorry that I'm shaking I'm just a little nervous and a little scared because of a past situation I had and I told that to an officer before the when my brother was here and another situation happened but also not life-threatening or bad in any kind of way it was easily fixable but when i told him that he was like well i'm the nicest cop you'll ever meet you don't have to be scared of me i don't he didn't understand that it wasn't i'm not scared of you i'm just scared of police in general because i've never been scared before but at the same time i've never lost all control over me as a person and when that situation happened i did i lost all of my control as a person and my best way to explain it is that i felt like um i felt I basically like something was taken away from me um like when we're bringing up the r word you know and you feel like all like like all of your decisions everything was taken from you and you were just forced to do something at somebody else's will and i don't know that that just scares me because i knew i know that you know obviously police have jobs and their jobs um entail like putting handcuffs on people taking them and you know now they're part of the system i don't want to be part of the system but um yeah, I know that they have a job and that's what their job entails or whatever, but I've never had it physically happen to me. And now that it has happened to me a while ago, <laughs> but now that it has happened to me, I know that it's possible and I'm just terrified of somebody doing that to me again. Um, when I have done nothing wrong and that was the situation that I had done nothing wrong. Anyway, I just wanted to share that a little bit, but I didn't want to give too much detail. So I don't know how much of this I'm going to like leave in, but I just needed to talk it out. Um, but yeah, that happened. <gasps> ah! I'm going to go ahead and finish getting ready so we can finish making that soup. All right, you guys, we are now in the kitchen. I'll move you a little bit closer. And this is what our bone broth is looking like right now. So you see all this nasty stuff on the top? My mom would say that this is what makes your soup looks, look dirty. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of scoop it up. So I skimmed out all of it as well as some of the grease um, that comes from the meat so that's gonna clear up our soup a lot <laughs> so that's gonna clear up our soup a lot and it's gonna make it taste and look better once it's done but we're gonna go ahead and start cutting up the vegetables that are gonna go into this soup because we're gonna start you know getting everything together so that it can cook and be nice and yummy for later so yeah but first I guess we have to wash all the vegetables and I got a lot of but yeah, let's just start washing them. What I didn't do is put the juice and the alcohol in the fridge. So we got warm liquor, warm juice. I'm gonna put it in here now though. Um, but low key, high key, I'm ready for a glass of wine. And also it's New Year's and we haven't taken any shots yet. Babe, you wanna take a shot? A shot? Uh, no, not right now. Why? Why, it's New Year's. Well, I'll just take one with the vlog. All right. What is this? Apple liquor? What kind of alcohol is this? Oh, whiskey. Ooh. Tap the bottle. Tap the bottle. Thank you. Oh, look. I'm wearing my Golden Girl shirt. Listen, I'm sad. Today's a sad day in history. Your girl, Betty White. May she R.I.P. You know, she was a babe when she was younger. I don't know if you know that. Betty White but yeah, I'm drinking Jim Bean Apple Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. It's definitely Craig's Choice. I'm more of a tequila vodka kind of girl, but it's alright. Ew, it's so thick. 
<laughs> that's why I don't drink uh, dark liquor. I hate like when it comes out thick, it looks like syrup. Ready? Okay, let me see. Let me see if I can remember it. Padientro. Wait, no. Arriba. Arriba, pa abajo, pa centro, pa dentro. It's so sweet. Ugh. Oh, I don't like. Oh, I don't like how sweet that is, at all. This right here is the best bottle opener ever. I got it on Amazon. I think. Okay. Did I do something wrong? What did I... Where's the cork? What the... F <gasps> what the fuck? Did you... I got that on camera. Uh, and I have wine all over my face. Look, it's all... Ugh. Well... <sighs> okay, so I used my handy dandy bottle opener to try and open my wine the cork is inside and then i pushed it more and it spoke back to me basically oh i don't know if i like that look look at this what the fuck oh. <laughs> okay okay jesus no that's a nice glass of wine I like that. For those of you who are of age, Apothic Red. That's good. Let me wipe this counter down and we'll get to washing these vegetables. So to cut yuca, you basically, I took that and I cut it into smaller pieces. And then I don't know... Can you see that? Okay, so you see how there's like sort of a rim all the way around? So you cut a slit just like that and then you'll use your knife to sort of lift it up. And then it just comes right out. You see? Just like that. A nicely peeled yuca. Dee -dee -dee. Some sort of, oh, I got myself so good. Feels like I broke a nail. Yeah. You guys, I got a boo boo. That hurt. You guys saw the whole thing. I got the whole thing recorded. That's crazy. But um, there is my boo boo. Craig bandaged it up for me. I was dying. The last piece. Ugh. I think that yuca is officially my least favorite thing to cut up. But let me turn down the heat a little bit. And I'm also going to put on some Netflix and watch that while we do this because it's definitely going to take me a while to cut everything. <laughs> way to chop up a garlic clove is like this watch come here so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your knife and you're going to 
smash until you hear like that little crack and then find your opening and just voila that's it Okay, I haven't finished completely cutting up all the vegetables yet, but um, we don't have to. Well, I mean, we have to finish cutting vegetables, of course, but we can start throwing some of the, these things into the soup now because some things are gonna go first and then some things later, like the potatoes are gonna go later. We don't want mushy potatoes, the carrots the same. So let's go ahead and start putting the stuff in there. I'm not like a big fan of celery. Like I like how it tastes when it's incorporated into something, but I don't like just giant chunks of, chunks of celery. So that's why I'm putting it in now so that it can, it can cook down more. That way, like when it's time to eat the soup, it's like basically see-through. I'm a child, but yeah, that's why I put it in now and I cut them so small. Cares. They're good for your sight. So this is my shot number two. Craig shot number one. Two. Oh, two? Oh, two and two? Eee. Okay, one more time, sorry. Uh, I don't like the flavor. That's what makes it hard to swallow. Uh, I don't like that it's sweet. Ew. Alrighty guys, you ready for shot number three? It actually hasn't even been that long. It's been like maybe five minutes since our last shot, but It's not gonna get any easier. It's disgusting every time. Ah. It's New Year's. You should have bought some tequila so it could feel good when I'm drinking. I can throw this on if you want. No, we already have that giant bottle. So you guys, when I was like 18 to about 19 or 20, for me and my friends, uh, what was it, Crown Apple was their drink of choice. And we drank it so much, so much. Like that was the most I've ever partied in my life. I partied enough for like the rest of my life, to be honest. Like I just, at this point in my life, I don't even really want to go to a club, to be honest, unless it's like maybe a Hispanic club and then I could, you know, get my groove on. But besides that, like, I'm not really into that scene anymore. It's not my scene anymore, but we used to party a lot is the point. And we drank that so much that now when I drink it, I don't even, I can't drink it, but when I smell it, I heave. When I drink it, like I, ew, <laughs> the thought of it. But anyway, this flavor is apple also. So it's like, it's giving me very much crown apple vibes, but it's New Year's and it's a party. It's a party, it's a party, it's a party. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go edit, like I said. Cook. Next, still this bone right off of Craig's plate. Literally. Like, Craig looked at his plate and it was just gone. What you got? Look, look, he just, he's getting territorial about it. He's not growling or anything, but he won't let us see it. Can I see your bone that you stole? You're a thief. You're a thief. Hey, Coda. I'm trying to get my attention. Bring it here. Bring it here. My big softy. My big softy. My most girl. My most big girl. Yeah. You know, when I got her, I didn't expect her to be this big. Like, not at all. Coda? I mean, she's a lab, but I thought she was going to be one of those short, stubby ones. And she's big as fuck. 
I got her when I was 19. Yeah, I got her when I was 19. I didn't know anything better. Uh, honestly, I wasn't ready for a puppy at all, but I made it work. A lot of things happened over the time of me having Coda. I had to leave her with my mom for a year and I had already raised her from like literally this big my coda and i had her already for a year from when she was just the smallest baby so that was a like i think that was the hardest thing i've ever done but i couldn't give her up either like to me once you get an animal it's a responsibility that you chose to have so you can't choose to get an animal and just give it up because it gets too hard this was your decision and if you had had a baby you wouldn't just give it up you would have had to have figured it out so that's what i did and that's what i do um, I grew up with a family who enjoys rescuing animals. I'm thankful that my mom allowed us to have so many animals and I'm thankful that she taught me what it looks like to have responsibility and accountability. My dogs will always have food. They will always have toys. They will never feel like anything is going wrong. Those are my biggest responsibility right there. I grew up like thinking that my animals were like my brothers and my sisters and th these are my children these are my children those are my siblings these are my children i love you guys i'm gonna go edit Hey grandma, you should have called me. Happy New Year's. I was trying to keep track of your New Year's and you got me. Our kids for another hour. Oh, I think it's my mom's New Year's, right? Wait, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, it's my mom's New Year's right now. Okay, wait, I'll call you in an hour. Okay. Okay, love you, bye. My mom is three hours ahead in Miami, so it's New Year's for them if she answers. Happy New Year's, right? It's your New Year's, right? Happy New Year's, yee. What are you guys doing? Oh, shit, okay. Love you, bye. They're watching a movie at the movie theaters, but we can call my brothers. Uh, hey, Happy New Year's. Well, it's not my New Year's, but Happy New Year's to you. You made it. I got three more hours. Okie dokie. Wait, wait, are you with Jacob? Oh, okay. Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm going to. All right, love you, bye. Yo, happy new year. I guess you can't, oh. I put you on mute and I said happy new year and you probably just, you didn't hear anything. Anyway, happy new year. <laughs> oh, you wanna say happy new year to the vlog? Sure. You, they can hear you. Oh, happy new year. Oh my God! Craig's playing the game. Oh, okay. Love you too. Bye. <laughs> I got a cute little thing of Craig pouring shot number cuatro. But I didn't press record, so you guys aren't going to see it. It's nasty every time. So I'm adding some tomatoes. Also, you guys saw me cutting up some mushrooms earlier. Tomatoes and mushrooms aren't normally what my mom adds to her soup, but it is what I'm adding to my soup. Don't worry, I'm cooking them down. You'll be fine. You'll be fine, I promise. And we're gonna 
let it cook for another while. I'm about to take a shot. Okay, ready, Craig? All right, you guys, we are on shot number five, I think. Nasty shot number five, ready? Ah! Uh, it's disgusting every time. It's not even, you know how when you make a shot, a face for like a strong shot? I'm not making a face because the shot is strong. I'm making a face because the shot is disgusting. I, please don't ever buy this again. This is disgusting. Yeah. He couldn't hear me. He had his headset on. Anyway, the soup is still cooking. I'm on the phone with Touche. To, uh, if you guys, no, you guys have met Touche. Yeah, you guys met Touche in my Miami vlog. And also when they came to visit, you met Touche. Touche is my stepdad for those of you who are just tuning in. Okay, Touche, say what's up. Okay. Yee. That's too sneezy, you know? But anyway, yeah, I'll check back in with you guys in a little while. I guess I have to turn on the vlog. They're here with us for New Year's. Oh, by the way, you guys, I think I just said it. It's 1020 and we're back to back with these shots. Here goes shot number six. Hell yeah. Uh, she's not alive. She's just doing it for her vlog. Oh, I almost heaved on that one. We got about an hour and 40 minutes until it's New Year's. It's already New Year's for my family in Miami. Cause like I said, they're three hours ahead. They watched the new Spider-Man movie today. They're late as hell, but at least they saw it. Touche said it's good, just like the rest of the world. It's good as hell. If you haven't seen it, go see it. I'm drunk. What? Touche said you already know. You already know what's up. But yeah, I'm gonna talk to y'all later because I'm drunk, bro. <laughs> hey guys, I'm drunk. Eat six shots in. Why am I zoomed in? Anyway, we're checking on the soup now. Turn on the light. Ooh, it smells good. He's eating greens and ham. It's all gonna fit in there. You know how you know to make the soup? Yee. My dad is showing me the new house right now. He's giving me like a FaceTime tour. But we are about to take shot number seven. Uh, I almost started crying. Oh my goodness. I was trying to fix you know the ring light that you guys are sitting on currently and I accidentally pushed you off does that make me mufasa long live the king anyway the point is i'm sorry i'm even more sorry because i think i broke you i mean it's fine right now we're focusing but when i tried to like completely close the camera it's just not but anyway you guys we ow i just pulled my hair what the hell um anyway we are <coughs> Right now, still cooking the soup. Here it goes, you know, boiling and toiling. I'm making a mess, a oh, big ass mess. There you go, right there. Oh, no, 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 don't fall, don't fall, I need you to come out. No, no, no. Oh, there it is, there it is, okay, stay. No, ah. What time is it? It's 1225 a.m. You guys, it's 25 minutes past midnight, which is New Year's. I'm wasty pants. Um, Happy New Year's. 
You guys, we made it to 2022. My soup is still not ready yet. There's not enough space to put in the cabbage, so I'm kind of just letting it boil until I can put in the cabbage. But I'm not about to let this vlog just drag on. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who knew that this is the way that I'd be ending 2021? Also, if you haven't checked it out yet, you guys should check out my last New Year's vlog where we were coming into 2021. So, you know, 2020, 2020, into 2021. Anyway, I'll just link it up here. Um, sober Lindsay will know what to do. I love you guys so much. If you guys have made it here to the end of this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell notification to always stay in the know and up to date on all my videos when I post them, as soon as I post them. Make sure to hit that like button and leave a comment. Let me know how you're doing and how your day has been and I will catch you guys in my next video. I love you so much. Happy New Year. We made it to another year. You guys did it and you can do anything you set your mind to. I love you so much. Bye.